What's in the bag? Hi everyone, it's Davey from Endlessly He Said. So today I have a bit of a different video. For those of you that watch this channel, you know mostly it's vinyl and records and a little bit of adventures. But today it's more of one of those lifestyle videos. I'm gonna talk about what I love, which is Lush Cosmetics and their new Valentine's range. Whenever I go shopping, I always take my canvas bag and that always a Lush canvas bag and uh, the bag smells amazing so far. So let's see what we've got in here. I've got the entire Valentine's collection all for the bath and uh, I think I've got a couple of shower things in here as well so let's take a look. Keep the bag here so I can see everything. Everything is still sealed up in its little bag and uh, I think I've got two things in here but let's look at the first one. I think uh, you all be excited for these two things. Product number one, this is the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. My horn can pierce the sky. One that doesn't get that reference, go and watch The Office, it's incredible. Dwight Schrute is the best man. Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar, this is really sparkly and very colourful. In the water this goes a lovely sort of pink peachy colour depending on I guess the blend that you've got of colour in there. It smells, I mean the fragrance blend is lavender essential oil and ylang ylang essential oil so it's quite chilled out. Um, it's quite a happy bubble bath. I'd say it's really good for calming your mood. Um, so I'm gonna pop this just up here. Um, if you love Unicorn Horn, give this video a thumbs up. Isn't this the cutest little thing? This is the Cupid Bath Bomb. This is a tiny little bath bomb, uh, as you can see. This one uh, smells, it's kind of like a gentle cocktail. So it's got this Violet Leaf Absolute in there, which definitely gives it that Palmer Violet smell that I know some people really love if you're into like those sweetie smells. Um, this also has Bergamot Essential Oil in there, which makes everything like a lot more red fruity, um, and I, for me, this this smells the same as the Razzle Dazzle bath oil. Uh, that looks like this. Here's Razzle Dazzle. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a raspberry lime for me with that smell. So, but the violet definitely cuts through. This has um, got a little bit of a bubble mix on the outside, so it's kind of cute, um, foamy, which is really lovely. But yeah, I like this a lot. These two products, the Unicorn Horn and the Cupid Bath Bomb, both come together in one of the smaller gift sets called In Your Dreams. Here's a picture of that. Okay, let's dig into the bag again. I'm gonna stay in the bath for a minute and uh, we're gonna get that whole range done. I like this even more than I thought I would. Um, this is Love A Lamp. Love A Lamp is uh, one of those new concepts of ballistics where it's got these little hearts on the outside, just there, and they are made with extra virgin olive oil and cocoa butter. The fragrance of this is kind of like a chocolate orange um, vanilla absolute and Brazilian orange oil in here and uh, with the cocoa butter and the olive oil it makes everything a lot more creamy. It kind of smells like like chocolate orange ice cream. This is this is glorious. Um, it's a really gentle bath bomb so if you've got more sensitive skin I think you'd really enjoy this. Uh, if you don't then that's still good. You can still enjoy this. Ever just look at someone and you feel like no you can. This is the Love Struck Bubble Bar. It looks like an emoji. Um, it smells really fruity. So this has Sicilian lemon oil in there and pettigrain oil, and it also has that geranium in there. So elements of floral. Geranium is one of those really good things that's good for calming you down. Um, citrus oils are obviously really like bright and happy. Uh, I really like this bubble bar. It's got corn flour in there, so it actually produces an awful lot of bubbles. And uh, yeah really really bubbly. Um, this was designed by my friend Michael. Michael works for Lush and he, um, he's been uh, a friend in the company for a long time. He also um, does a lot of campaigning type things so um, he's really helped with a lot of the animal rights type campaigns. Um, so shout out Michael, um, thank you for making this, this is really nice. Two more bath bombs, this is the first one. Who loves Rose? 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 This is Rose Bombshell. This is the Rose Jam fragrance. So for anyone that's unfamiliar with that, it is rose, argan oil, and a little bit of um, lemon uh, and geranium. It smells glorious. So if anyone likes that Rose Jam perfume, we had uh, there was a Rose Jam shower gel at Christmas time, and there's a Rose Jam bubble rune. This is the same smell. So yeah, Rose Bombshell bath bomb in a bath bomb form. So you can fill your bath full of rose petals. This is dried rose petals inside. It looks really pretty in the water. Um, really like nice pink 
princessy bath. This is over and over and over and over and over and over and over. over. This is over and over bath bomb. Uh, this has a cocoa butter outside and it has a pink inside. The fragrance is one of my favorites of the entire Valentine's collection. This is orris root, fennel, and lime oil. This is so good. So it's really zesty, uh, really, really zingy. If anyone likes those fresher citrus fragrances or things that are a little bit more on that like herbal, more perfumery type fragrances, I think you'd really like this. Uh, really moisturizing because the cocoa butter on the top and uh, really brightened the water. I've already had this one and I really, really loved it. It was beautiful. That was all the bath bombs. I've got three more things. Thank you for bearing with me. I hope you're enjoying this. We have some shower product and we have two more bath things as well. This is the Ladybird Bubble Bath. So this is a really Englishy smelling smell for me. It's peppermint and geranium and it's uh, all kinds of like just fresh English garden type smell. I really love it. Um, my little boy really likes this as well. And um, yeah, Ladybird is cute. This is here for Valentine's Day this year. It was here for Mother's Day for that collection last year. So get it while you can get it. My last bath product, this is two hearts beating as one. So this has two hearts and they slide together like this. And this is uh, a luxury bath oil. This has a jasmine, ylang, geranium, bergamot, argan oil in here. Um, everything is very floral in this melt. And two hearts beating as one was an old perfume for Lush's sister company. Anyone that's into like the Lust perfume or wash that man right out my hair shower gel or Godiva shampoo bar. Um, yeah, I think you'd be really into this. Last product. This is a Kiss Me Quick business wash card. This has what I think is the same fragrance as 29 High Street perfume. This uh, has jasmine, lemon, sandalwood. The idea with this is that you, you tear off a piece and then you use it like shower gel and wash with it all over your body. And uh, you should get three healthy washes out of this. It's made with apple pulp. So it's like, did you ever have those fruit rolls as a kid? And you can like, you'd like roll them up and then eat them. Um, but yeah, like that, like a fruit roll, but with soap and you can wash with it. Isn't that cool? Kiss me quick. Okay, I think I am safe in saying I have covered all of the Valentine's products that I have bought. The things that I have not talked about are the Kiss Lip Scrub, which tastes like drumstick lollies and I had last year and that was really lovely. The Kiss Lip Gloss, which also has the same fragrance and uh, really soft on the lips and moisturizing. It's got a bit of a tint in there, uh, maybe not one for me. And uh, then there is also Prince Charming Shower Gel and Love You, Love You Lots. So Prince Charming Shower Gel is really creamy with cocoa butter and uh, really moisturizing elements in there and love you love you lots has rose hip syrup and loads of rosy ingredients as well so uh just a quick ramble about those other things just so i've not missed them out of the video you're not missing out on anything either i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for bearing with me and watching the lush video if you're not normally into the lush videos please go check out uh, the other videos. If you're into the Lush videos, I'm gonna link the other ones that I've done at the Creative Showcase and my top 10 Lush products of all time over there. So you guys can go and see those and have fun with those videos too. Thank you for watching everybody and I will see you all next time with more Lush videos and more lifestyle related things. I'm Davey, take care, bye. Emoji, I, I could be an emoji all day. I don't know if I wanna be. What happens after Lush videos? I mean, do you just get in the bath straight away? Because I already had one. I don't know, I guess you do whatever you want to do. Go vegan! <laughs>